So today I'm gonna to do something that you're never supposed to do in Australian fishing. I'm going to tell you about my secret fishing spot. Now, just like every other secret fishing spot in Australia, it's not really a secret. It's just a place that's got some pretty good fishing and not many people come here to fish. Normally I wouldn't do something like this. Normally I would keep this to myself, but I'm sharing the information for a very good reason, which I will tell you about later in the video. But before I get to that, just wanna say something about these closed estuary systems. Lakes and estuaries aren't like the ocean. There is a saying there's plenty of fish in the sea. There isn't a saying there's plenty of fish in the estuary or there's plenty of fish in the lake. That's because there aren't, there's less. And every fish you take out of the ocean has a smaller impact than a fish you take out of a closed estuary or lake system. So in sharing this information, all I want you to consider is if you do come here and fish, trying to make a decision whether that fish you've caught has more value going back into the system and being there for future generations to breed, to have offspring, rather than just putting it on the dinner table. There's plenty of very sustainable fisheries in Australia where you can take your bag limit and it won't have a huge negative impact on the system. And I would suggest that this system isn't one of them. That's the reason I normally wouldn't share this information. But I have a very good reason that I am sharing this information. And that's because, and I've, I've come and fished here probably, I don't know, three times in the last 18 to 24 months. A number of my personal best flathead have come from here. Plenty of huge brim come out of this system. And it's a spot where there is a beautiful little caravan park that backs right onto the boat ramp and the banks of this uh, river, or arm as they call it here. It's kind of like going back in time. Uh, like being in this caravan park is like, I don't know, going back to 1980s Australia or something like that. It's it's the type of place that so many kids grew up in, you know, uh, spent time in, would wake up and come down to the bank and wet a line. It's a really back to basics, simple lifestyle that you get when you come to this caravan park. And recently, it has undergone new ownership. And the new owners have really put a lot of effort into bringing the standard of this park up to a state where I can't recommend it highly enough. It, it really is a great little spot. It is just so underused and I'd love to see them have a, a lot of success. Hi. <laughs> it's always weird when I walk by talking to the camera and people around. <laughs> and so when I fish here, basically when I show up, I just launch my boat on day one and then uh, the last couple times I've stayed in a cabin, but previously I've stayed in a tent. And uh, when I come in in the evening, I, I just pull my boat up on the shore and I throw the anchor out and I just leave it, leave it in the water the whole time. So we'll be here for the better part of four nights and uh, I'll just leave the boat in the whole time. Of course, I grab the tackle and rods and, and camera gear and I, I bring them into the cabin, but we've never had any problems. And if I were to say my five to 10 biggest flathead that I've ever caught, I would suggest, I don't know, as many as half of them have come from this waterway in only my sort of three trips down here to fish. So the fishing is pretty good. And the prices at the caravan park are like super reasonable. Uh, the first time we came, we, we stayed in a tent. I can't remember how much that was, but it was pretty cheap. And the last two times we've stayed in a cabin I think the standard cabin rate at the, at the one that we're staying in is only like $80 a night and it sleeps sleeps up to six people. There's four bunk beds and, and one uh, sort of queen bed. So I don't know, it's like really to be able to camp sort of or to have a cabin virtually right on the edge of an estuary system, such easy access to your boat and the boat ramp and even good land-based fishing. What I'm walking along here is all good land-based fishing. 
the fact the other day when I walked up to the boat ramp just to see how the water looked, there was two big flathead I saw just sitting right at the bottom of the boat ramp and they just slowly swam away just as I walked up to the edge of the boat ramp. So we know the fish are here, <laughs> you can see them. All right, we're walking up to the boat ramp now. So I'll show you the boat ramp and just a bit of the estuary system there. And then we'll walk up into the caravan park and campground and I'll give you a look at that. So I'm just walking from the boat ramp up into the caravan park now. And when you first come in, I'm sort of coming in the back way. This here is the cabin that we generally stay in. Um, it's an old logging shed or hut that they've added a second room onto and they've added a bathroom and a little kitchen. Here, we'll have a, we'll have a quick look inside. This is what it looks like. Just a little kitchenette there, refrigerator. This is the master suite, little bathroom, and then there's a bunk room. Of course, I don't know if you'll be able to see all that, but now we're into the main campground. They've got some of these bunk houses. In fact, this one actually is called a bunk house. Uh, they often have school groups, but I imagine you could rent it for a fishing trip with a number of people. Uh, they've got a big camp kitchen. It's got this massive camp kitchen. Have you a look at that. So here is this huge camp kitchen they've got. There's plenty of seating. They've got this big veranda to sit on. Got these beautiful wood tables. So this is this huge camp kitchen. I mean, you could, you could cook for an army in here. There's so much space. Uh, and they've got a big wood-fired heater up here that they uh, run when it's cold. Everybody comes and sits around this. I'll just take you out the front now. And they've obviously got a number of sites that have both power and water. And out the front's where they've got the shop. They've got an art gallery. Uh, they've got a shop that serves food and coffee. Uh, the coffee's actually really good. Coming from Melbourne, I can be a bit picky, but yeah, it's just excellent. So if you've made it this far, you're probably wondering where is this place? What is it? It's probably what you've been waiting for for the whole video if you haven't skipped to the end already. <laughs> so my secret fishing spot is in Nawanawa. It's the Nawanawa Arm and this is the Mingling Waters Caravan Park or Campground. I'm not sure exactly what they call it. But yeah, this is the place. This is where I have got a number of my biggest ever flathead. This is a place where this morning one of my good mates just caught one of the biggest brim I've ever seen. It is a great fishery. It is a great caravan park. And honestly, I just couldn't recommend it any more highly. Hope you enjoyed this little video of my secret fishing spot. We'll see you in the next video.